What's going on guys, JD here. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I am uh, a very amateur beginner, uh, trike rider, recumbent trike rider, and I am taking a tour currently in Maryland, and I made it about 500 miles so far. We're going from Dover, New Hampshire to San Diego, California. And I've had a few people reach out to me and ask me about what I'm carrying uh, because I am on the trip and I am touring, and they wanted to get a first eye perspective basically on uh, what I'm carrying and what I think I need. So what I've done is I've put everything down here, you guys will see in a second, and uh, I've also cleared some stuff out that I'm not gonna take with me uh, from this day forward. So I'll let you guys see that as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you have any questions, please put them below, or you can private message me as well. All right, here we go. First thing I'm gonna show you is the things that I am not taking that I've carried from New Hampshire to Maryland so far for 500 miles. Uh, these are the things that I'm actually gonna send back home. I've already taken uh, a trailer off. This was way back in Connecticut. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm sending back a sleeping pad that I had that I've been able to roll it up and stuff, but it actually got a hole in it, so I'm not gonna take that any longer. I'm also sending back my tent. Uh, I am going to be doing mostly hotels from now on and also uh, possibly staying with friends and uh, people that I meet along the way uh, all the way to California. So we're not going to need the tent. That's that's pretty heavy as well. That's at least a couple pounds. Um, so that's gone. We also have a sleeping bag that is very heavy because it's, it's a negative uh, 30 below uh, sleeping bag. So that's going to go as well. So that's weight that's just gone. We're also going to get rid of some of the, uh, let me see what else I got. My bungee cords, I've got about like, six bungee cords I'll show you guys that I'm taking with me. I'm also getting rid of, I have clothes, I had a, this shirt, had some underwear, I had some sweatpants, um, and I had another spandex shirt, a hat, and a sleeping bag bag as well. Um, and also I have these zip ties, these wrenches, and a screwdriver that I can't even use on the bike, so I don't even know why I have it. Um, so that stuff that I just showed you is all going back uh, home. And so let me go ahead and show you what I am taking so you guys can get a better idea of what uh, you should pack on your trip uh, on your next tour. All right, let me go ahead and show you the things that now that I am bringing, and I've lined them up for you guys so you can check them out. I'll let you see them real quick, and then I'll explain them all. So, first thing for me, since I'm shooting videos for you guys, I'm shooting this one on my phone right now, but I shoot most of my vlogs on my GoPro. So, I've gotta have my GoPro. I've got a extra battery here that I always charge the night before, and I keep that in my bag so I can have easy access, quick reach in. So, if you wanna have your GoPro, this is a waterproof GoPro Hero 5. It's very, uh, this is huge because it's rained on me four times, four different days now, and I can just keep this thing out and still record. So it's really nice to have that. Next thing I have is also two charge cells uh, from Walmart. They're 10 bucks a piece. They give two charges a piece to your cell phone. I have an iPhone 8. Um, that brings me to the phones. I also have, obviously I bring the phone that I'm shooting this video on, and then I bring, I have a backup phone as well that I keep at 100%, but I turn it off and I keep it in a wet bag or a dry bag so that we can uh, not worry about having a cell phone or losing battery or something happening if I break it or drop it. I've got an extra phone with service there. Um, I also have another dry bag here that when it does rain, I can put that phone inside of it and I don't have to worry about it getting wet and I can keep it on the actual bike outside and still use it and navigate. So you have that. I've also, I keep a couple protein bars with me at all times, so I have that. I haven't uh, been in a situation where I've had to really dire need of these, but they have uh, helped on some stretches as well. So always carry a couple or maybe three or four, whatever you want. They're a little heavy, so I carry like two or three. I also carry, I've got four batteries here, so my front light runs off of batteries, so I have some AA batteries. I've also got a lighter. If you ever get into a situation where you need to start a fire, um, you have a lighter here and you have fire. The other thing I have obviously to edit the videos is the laptop. So I got my laptop. I keep it in a bigger laptop case because there's cushion in that case. And if it falls, like in my previous vlogs, my bike fell over, uh, this won't smash or break or anything like that. Hopefully that's the idea, keeping it, keeping it inside of that. So the other things that I take here uh, that I keep that protected, actually, I have a dry bag that I got here. This is, I believe, there it is, Field and Stream. 
This is a 35 liter bag. It's a bigger bag because I can fit the laptop and also some other stuff inside of it that I need to keep dry like my clothes. So I put that in there and hold it in. So bringing up the clothes, my clothes that I bring, what's on me, I got a hat, I got a sweatshirt, I've got a long sleeve spandex, summertime spandex Under Armour shirt. I've also got some like joggers, um, biking pants, I guess you could. And I also bring uh, or brought a pair of obviously riding shorts. So I've got those, extra pair of socks, I've got three shirts. One is a really heavy duty, like uh, Under Armour shirt for the real cold. And uh, one's a thinner t-shirt type version of the Under Armour. And then I have a regular t-shirt just so I can be a little bit more comfortable and want to put a t-shirt on when I don't want to wear the spandex all the time. So that's what I bring for clothes. Uh, that's what I'm bringing for clothes. Also, for my hands, I do have a pair of gloves. So if your hands get cold, you got your gloves there as well. So that's the clothes, how I keep it dry, my electronics. Now, things that I, kind of off kind of keep in the bag just in case for anything any reason at all uh, I do have rope uh, just in case I need to pull the bike for any reason or whatever it may be string something up um, anything really at all so I've got some rope which I may actually uh, trim that down to carry a little bit less because I don't need all of that I also obviously have bungee cords you got an extra bungee cord and I've got about five, I think, that I use. So one straps down my sandals. I have sandals that I wear, and obviously outside of my biking shoes. So those are always good to have, and they're very light as well. I've got about five or six. Uh, the other thing too that I haven't been carrying is uh, my flag. I finally got a flag, uh, RBR. Rob's giving me a flag over there, so I'll have a nice flag. I do have uh, American flags that I put on the back of the bike. They're not as tall as those other flags that you usually get, but make sure that you do have a flag on the back of your bike so that you do not get hit by a car. I've gotten very lucky so far that I haven't because I haven't had that tall, tall flag. So um, let's go with the obvious stuff. For me, obviously the helmet, I put my Sometimes I'll uh, end up putting my GoPro on the top of here so I can just put it on, click play or record, and I can record stuff as I look around and get a first person view of stuff. So always obviously have the helmet, and my helmet came with a light uh, that connects to the back of it, but I put it on the back of the bike because obviously you, know, you guys know on a recumbent bike, they're not gonna be able to see the back of your head most of the time, especially if you have stuff behind you. So I attach this to the very back of the bike. It's got a nice flasher on it, works great. I also keep a spare light uh, aside from the one in the front of the bike with me too at all times and then also I've got goggles So these are snowboarding ski goggles whatever you want to call them and those help too If you get that hard rain you get into sleet or you get into something that your glasses aren't going to protect um, Then you want to have the goggles also sand down in like when you get into Texas, New Mexico You get around the deserts and stuff blowing around your glasses might not stop that when you're riding on the highways and stuff So the crosswinds so you want to have some goggles that'll help out a lot too uh, I've got regular glasses, those help, and then also I've got a pair, it's almost like earmuffs, but they go around your head and doesn't cut off the air circulation at the top of your head, so it's kind of like a half, um, to keep your ears warm and stuff. Going into the um, actual bike itself, what I have to keep the bike and fix it if I need to, uh, obviously the levers uh, for your tubes and your tires, you wanna always have one of those on you. They're super light, the ones I have are plastic, and I have one of those. I also have uh, a chain repair tool. Always have a chain repair tool on you. Uh, I've got my Allen wrench by DeWalt. Allen wrenches, you always wanna have the Allen wrenches because basically our bikes all have the Allen uh, nuts on them and need Allen wrenches. So I can't, luckily yesterday I had a spare one for the other side when I had to fix my shock. So I keep another spare one with me uh, just in case. I also have chain lube. You wanna get some chain lube as well. And I have a tube repair kit. I got a bike chain repair kit. I've actually got some extra chain, which I may get rid of. It's actually pretty heavy. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need this or not. I may just get some master links and replace it. I do have a spare idler and also an extra bracket that I got from Rob at RBR uh, about a week and a half ago when I originally broke my derailleur. And so I have those pieces that I keep with me. Those are fairly light. I have a little electrical tape if I ever need to tape anything up on the fly. I've got my zip ties and I also have my cutters. So I may get rid of these, they're a little heavy because I do keep a knife uh, on me and on my side at all times. You never know, we all know how animals love our trikes and they love to run after you. So uh, you wanna be careful there. 
The other part is I do carry tubes, uh, one tube for each tire. So I may cut down to uh, the fronts are 20s on mine and the backs are 26s or 26. So I've got two 20 tubes, uh, 20 inch tubes and one 26 inch tube. So I may get rid of one of those or I may just keep those. I'm going to talk to Rob again, see what he thinks up there. Um, also, I going back to it, I keep a spare light. This is just one you can pick up at a convenience store. It's like two or three bucks just in case your lights die and you need an extra one. Um, for personal wise, I have a Vaseline little thing. I get you get chafage they make stuff for it but this is all I had right now um, I got it out of Rite Aid so that was easy enough uh, Ambisol I have my tooth you guys watched my videos before I had toothache so I use Ambisol to try to get that down so I, I'm gonna keep that on me because the tooth's still hurting uh, we also have some seal here this is a thread lock red gel so this is more of a permanent uh, I believe it's the permanent, yeah, it's high strength. So if anything comes loose or whatnot while you're riding, I always, I have a little tube of this just in case as well. So uh, all in all, and oh, and also toothpaste and my toothbrush, obviously, to be able to do that and wash up and, and, and brush paint around my teeth because they're falling out of my head. Uh, other than that, guys, that's all I have. That's all I'm bringing. Uh, it sounds like a lot, but it's, uh, it's really, I don't think it's a lot, a lot for what I'm doing. Uh, if I could drop the computer and everything else in the video stuff, then I probably wouldn't have as much weight, obviously, because I would get rid of that stuff uh, and just take the necessities here. But because I'm filming it and, and vlogging and, and doing the video editing and stuff like that, I need to be able to carry the extra weight um, from the bike. So that is all I have. If you guys have any questions, again, please ask me down below. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube page. It's James Dobson Vlogs. And also follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and then like us on Facebook. We're right here. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And again, I'll see you later. Till next time, JD out of here. Have a good day, guys. Bye.